Daily in the body snatcher right here. It's a champ. Big up to sports and icon. Subscribe. Otherwise, I might pay you guys a visit. Now, Deontay Wilder, he's been heavyweight champion, WBC version, of course, for five years. Never once unified. And Deontay Wilder, he was asked about why have you never unified? So I want to get into Deontay Wilder's statement. But before I do, if you're a Wilder fanatic, a Wilder nut hugger, you're not going to like this. So you probably best stop this video right now because I'm going to... I'm gonna end up hurting your feelings, okay? Because I'm gonna tell you the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So, Deontay Wilder's statement as to why he never unified. People said, why have you never unified? None of the champions gave me the opportunity to unify because they'd know what I'm capable of doing. And if I got those same opportunities as those other guys, you'd see one champion, one face, one name. Now, Deontay Wilder's statement. So, he's saying that he wasn't given the opportunity. So let's have a look at opportunities that he were given. And as I said, I'll tell you all the facts. You can go search it, you can go look for it and correct me if you believe that I'm wrong. But I'm not gonna be wrong on this one. Now, he won the title against Bermain Stavern. He beat Bermain Stavern on points, become the champion in January, 2015. His own manager, Shelley Finkel, who also managed Vladimir Klitschko. So you would think Wilder versus Klitschko, undisputed, very easy fight to make. Shelley Finkel said that Wilder, even though he'd had 33 fights, he's not ready. He's still a baby. He's still a prospect. Can't be rushed. So there's one opportunity that he could have had, but didn't do. So that's Vladimir Klitschko. Now, because he didn't do it, Tyson Fury went, at the end of 2015, went to Dusseldorf, Germany, and dethroned Vladimir Klitschko. So he had all the belts. He signed a rematch clause for whatever reason. So he, he couldn't unify against... Deontay Wilder, but because he signed a rematch clause for whatever unknown reason, even though he was mandatory, he got stripped of the IBF because he couldn't fight Glaskov. So Charles Martin stepped in and fought Glaskov for the vacant IBF world title. Charles Martin fought Glaskov and won the belt on the undercard of Deontay Wilder versus Arthur Spilker, where Deontay Wilder put Spilker out cold. It was a beautiful brutal knockout one of the best knockouts i've ever seen in my life and incidentally that's actually the last time that wilder le legitimately put somebody to sleep in the ring now charles martin he won the belt on that undercard after wilder knocked out spilker tyson fury jumped in the ring you guys will remember this one so he won tyson fury you're a bum i'll fight you in your back garden you bum all that kind of stuff now wilder he was asked would you unify and Wilder said, I'd love to unify, but I've got mandatory obligations. Now, I'm not going to sit here and pretend that he could have unified against Tyson Fury at that point, because he couldn't. Because as I said, Tyson Fury, even though he was mandatory to Klitschko, signed a rematch clause. Didn't need to, but he did. So he couldn't have unified against Tyson Fury at that point anyway. But he could have unified against Charles Martin. Charles Martin, who, is, uh, who was on the undercard of that fight against Spilker, won the belt, is a PBC fighter. Wilder, also a PBC fighter. So it's an in-house fight. Very, very easy to unify. But he said, I've got mandatory obligations. Of course, he's talking about Povetkin. Things fell apart with Povetkin. He failed at A sample, passed the B sample. Wilder refused to fight him, etc. But he could have fought Charles Martin, but didn't. It's an in-house fight. So that's two. So that is Vladimir Klitschko and Charles Martin that he could have unified against, but he didn't. Joshua ended up fighting Charles Martin for that belt. Okay, Tyson Fury, he went through everything that he went through, all the belts, the WBA, the WBO, and the IBO got dispersed. Okay, Joseph Parker defeated Andrew Is Jr. for the vacant WBO belt. John T. Wilder said to Joseph Parker, I'm ready now, let's unify at the end of the year. Bear in mind, he said this, what was it, February, March time? I'm ready now, let's unify at the end of the year. You guys will remember this, Deontay Wilder on social media, on Instagram. Forget all these scrubs, come fight me. Even though the WBO had already ordered Joseph Parker to go fight Huey Fury. No exceptions, weren't allowed no unification. But he said, I'm ready now, let's fight at the end of the year. Didn't quite make any um, too much sense. Eventually, things come around. I know I'm passing the Klitschko bit again, but I'll get to that in a second. He offered, and this is according to Joseph Parker's manager, trainer, Kevin Barry. Wilder offered him $2 million. Pretty decent money, right? Now, 
Anthony Joshua, he offered Joseph Parker $7 million. So which one is Parker going to take? Is he going to take Wilder's $2 million, Or is he going to take the $7 million with Anthony Joshua? Well, it worked out to be $7 million. He's actually offered a third of the purse, which worked out to be about $7 million, apparently. Maybe a bit more. Some say $13 or $15 million. Is what it is. Okay, so he didn't put in a decent offer to Joseph Parker. But he could have done, but he didn't. Let's switch our attention to Anthony Joshua unifying against Vladimir Klitschko. That was for the vacant WBA title. And of course, the IBO was thrown in there as well. Now, again, why didn't Wilder do it? Why didn't he do it? Why did Joshua end up doing it, but Wilder didn't? And in fact, Wilder, he went there, he did the punditry work for that fight here in the UK, in London, at Wembley Stadium. And he was actually picking Klitschko to beat Joshua. It's only after the fact he said that Klitschko's old and blah, blah, blah. But he didn't do it himself. So let's fast forward. Anthony Joshua, he's got the IBF, the WBA, the IBO, and the WBO World Unified title. So Joshua went around belt collecting. Wilder didn't do that. So let's fast forward a little bit. Joshua says, okay, you, me, Wilder, let's take the fight. Let's do it. Now, Joshua, he put in an offer of 12.5 million. Now, at the time... Wilder's highest purse was 2.1 million when he fought Luis Ortiz. 2.1 million. Joshua offered him 12.5 million. So that's six times more money than he'd ever made. But he didn't even respond to Joshua. Joshua then went back with an improved offer of $15 million. So you're talking seven times more money than he ever made. But yet he wasn't given any opportunities. Eventually, Wilder said, okay, cool, let's do that. I'll take the 15 minute and I'll come to the UK. Eddie Hearn sent the contract. They refused to sign it because it didn't have a date in the venue. Even though if you look at all Wilder's fights, there's never a date in the venue. But it was going to be Joshua next. There was going to be no fight in between. It was going to be next. And they kept coming out with all kinds of excuses. So Wilder avoided that one. Joshua then went back to him some time later and offered him 28 million. Wilder turned it down. Joshua went back again, offered him 40%, even though Joshua, who is the cash cow and had three of the main four belts needed for Undisputed, plus the IBO title, of course, offered Wilder 40%. Wilder turned it down. Recently, DAZN offered Wilder $100 million. Fight Joshua, Back to back, guaranteed rematch, first fight in America. They didn't even try to negotiate. There was another offer as well. You could fight Dominic Brazil for an extra 20 minutes. That's 120 million. Fight Dominic Brazil, who you have to fight anyway, who's your mandatory. Shouldn't have been mandatory, but it's what it is. So 20 million, but you fight Brazil on the zone. Then you fight Joshua back to back for 100 million. So he had two choices there. You could fight Brazil for 20 million plus Joshua for 100 million twice. 50 million per fight, right? He didn't even try to negotiate. Now, we know this offer was real because Shelley Finkel said it with his own mouth. That's how we know about it. So again, has Wilder really, truly not been given opportunities that other people have? Could have fought Klitschko twice. Didn't do it. Could have fought Charles Martin, in-house fight. Didn't do it. Could have fought Joseph Parker. Didn't do it. Could have fought Anthony Joshua multiple times for generational money. Didn't do it. So when Wilder says, I haven't been given the same opportunities as other people, is he lying? Or is his team not letting him take the fights? It has to be one of the two. Now, we know that there's a good chance that his team are not letting him take the fights because when he, when he turned down this 100 or 120 million for his own to fight Anthony Joshua, two fights, guaranteed win, lose, or draw the first one, you get the rematch anyway for 100 million. Shelly Finkel said, well, when I have a good relationship with John Skipper, the head of his own, we'll make the fight. So when he has a good relationship with John Skipper, they'll make the fight. He didn't have a good relationship with Eddie Hearn, which is why Shelly Finkel didn't make the fight. So it's Shelly Finkel who's telling Wilder, yes, you can or no, you can't. In addition to, as it, um, it transpired recently, Lou DiBella got fired. Got fired because he tried to make the Anthony Joshua undisputed fight. 
Now, I know the Wilder fans, they'll say, but Wilder offered Joshua $50 million. Okay, two things on that one. Number one, Joshua was earning over $30 million per fight anyway, so it wasn't even double, that's the first one. And second of all, Frank Warren said the money was coming from BT Sport. Joshua can't fight on BT Sport. He's exclusive to Sky Sports. In addition to that as well, Shay Finkel, Team Wilder, Al Heyman, refused to meet Eddie Hearn to talk about it. Refused to have a meeting. And Wilder gave him 24 hours to accept. But it turned out after that, 50 million wasn't real. So you tell me that Wilder has not been given the same opportunities as other people. I'll wait. Drop your thoughts below. Click thumbs up. Subscribe. Catch you all on the next video.